Hello, this one is for all you witches and recons and mystics and new agers. I am Sara Sutinen. I'm an art witch. I have practiced witchcraft since 2005 or something like that. And my path was first solitary eclectic Wiccan. Then in some point I started to practice thought yoga. Is this Finnish form of yoga, thought yoga. And there is mantras and this type of thing. And it has been very important to me. And I I don't consider myself Wiccan anymore. I call myself eclectic witch, especially art witch. My path in art started when I was five years old. I started to play piano and then I, when I was a kid, I, I was, dance was very important to me. I was doing dance classes and this type of thing. And at some point I had a band with my friends where I played guitar and sing and at some point then I went to, when I was about 18 years old, I went to study music two years in this school, music school. And there I learned a lot. And there I also came familiar with theater. I was playing in some theater pieces, musicals. I was guitarist and in the other one I was pianist. So art has been always in my life. And I started to paint and draw when I was 16 years old. And when I was my 20s, I went to art school. It's called Free Art School here in Helsinki, Finland. And you, uh, you study to be a painter, professional painter. So I went that school four years. And at, during that time, I started to dance too. And I became a professional dancer then. And dance and painting was four years of my life nonstop. All the daytime I spent with painting and night times I spent with, <laughs> I mean evening times I spent with dance. <clears throat> and then I got sick. I had a mental health issues, schizophrenia. And this was difficult path to me first, but I've been recovered very good. And medicines helped me. And I have trained myself to be an expert at for us experience. So I do this mental health activist work. <clears throat> I have done it many different things, lecturing, being on the media, talking about this illness. And I have been working in mental health field, giving these kind of classes of picture art and dance and yoga to other patients and <clears throat> I have been activist in this field and I still do that activist work in my way and then I did this kind of like regular jobs but I get in suspension when I in 2011 and <clears throat> and I have been during that time started to do music very much as you can see <laughs> here in my channel and first I did also music videos I did music video to some other band too and I have kept exhibitions and performances and I still do music and art and last lately years I have been more 
more aware how you can use art for magic and rituals and this kind of spiritual stuff and also my music is for people to they can calm down and sleep or meditate and I have this healing intention every time when I do music I do healing in intention to it so it should help others too if it's not your taste then okay <laughs> but um, yeah I have gone through this kind of shamanic path with my illness so it woken me at some point that I want to heal in some way so in my witchcraft there is lots of in my own craft I think about lots of this healing and meditation type of working and also like <clears throat> Like I know some witches and Wiccans like to use music in their magic work. So my music is for that too. You can listen like in my album Mystic Journey. There is songs what you can play in a background when you do magic work or ritual. And in my album Full Moon, what is Witches Sabbaths, you can also play it in the background in the Sabbath day when you do ritual or meditation or something. And it's like for that. There's new album coming from me. You may have heard the songs from it already here in my YouTube channel and in my SoundCloud's account. But the album is gonna called Witchcraft. And it's for all the witches and wiccans that can that want to use magic <coughs> magic work this type of like music because it's very helpful and it's also meditation and sleep music this type of like new age music I like ambient music in magic practice and this type of thing because there is no lyrics and it's very meditative and the person who practiced that magic can put their own intention to it. My intention always is white magic. I, I still follow we can read, do as you want but don't harm anyone. <laughs> so this is my path. I'm art witch. Art witches are many kind. Some do more painting and picture work. I do that too. And some do craft work, craft work, crafting and this type of thing. Or whatever art form, writing and this type of thing. I make music and I also do drawing and painting. Lately I've been focused on music. So this is my meaning to my next album that you can use it in magic words and rituals. You can also use that this Mystic Journey album for that too. And I I hope I I get my audience there who understands it. You can also just listen to it and meditate. You don't have to be a witch. It can be very soothing and, and there is good healing intention behind it when I do it. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy my music. Album Witchcraft is coming soon. Okay, bye bye.